be the last time. My name is George Vanek and this is the NLP weekend practice group. About a year ago, I was practicing one-to-one -one on behalf of the NLP school and out of that come the idea to start a practice group and it was inspired by how NLP was originally developed in practice groups as it was formed on the University of, Santa, University of California Santa Cruz. And I love this idea and I had this vision of creating this group. I even had a, a group like this before in Vienna and I had my own ideas with the vision, making NLP accessible. And it's a great vision I like to stand up for. As my personal calling is kind of awaken beauty within people. And I'm driven to give people more choices. I found this great thing of NLP. I was twice in California in 2013 and 14, and I'm so blessed I have studied there with Robert Dills. Judy Delessier and a few other very great ones. And I'm so inspired by the positive intention. But Robert's saying MLB is there to give people more choices. There is something, you know something, and how do you know you know something? And what is the difference that makes the difference? I love it. I love all of this teaching. I felt in love with this environment in Santa Cruz. With this community it was all also developed in the 70s and a lot of um, academic thought was challenging the status quo and really enriched by that and I want to continue that and I love it and I love to build it on and also I just have to recognize it has not worked out in that regard lately like it was the third time in a row that no one showed up at the meetup group. I have scheduled another one, which is on Saturday, where I practice one of my favorite exercises, the score model. If you really like to get more of, please join us on Saturday. We meet in central London. We just charge 10 pounds for the room charge and making it happen. But I came to the conclusion after three times no one showed up that it might not be the right thing to hold on something which does not find the community. In London, there are hundreds and hundreds of meetups. Each day, new meetups pop up. What There's so much around. I get this notification for meetups. And of course, not all meetups work out as such. And my conclusion is, I did not get the audience who is interested to practice consistently. I felt very blessed about beautiful people who joined the meetup and who opened up to practice. And it was emotional, it was touching, it was inspiring, heartwarming. It was so happy, it was a great thing to do. And also, I did not manage with many people who helped me to develop like a core group. Some people come casually, some been there two times, three times, four times, five times, but that's it. And not so really that people co um, consistently come for a longer period of time. And I need to learn myself that if that's not the case, trying harder is maybe not the recipe because I done that. I developed more scripts, more videos, more outreach, talk to more people. All right. But also I find I let's rather cut here instead of hold of something that's not working. and discover what else is there. It was actually also in Santa Cruz when I did my practitioner in NLP, we had um, also shamanic journeys offered by Michael Diltz, the brother of Robert Diltz. And there I received a very strong message, which is NLP2 somatic. NLP2 is like kind of next generation NLP. Robert Diltz and Judy Delessier have written a book about and there's this part of the somatic mind. So there's the entirely classic cognitive side of NLP and grasping something in your mind. But it's so different if you have the wholeness of your heart, of your belly, of your whole being and further the whole field around you. And it's the somatic part which I received more as a calling and 
what does that mean? I enjoy sports. I'm a skateboarder. I enjoy yoga. I lately enjoyed a lot of dancing, like ecstatic dance, some kind of five rhythm dance. And I enjoy the presence. I enjoy the sensations of being here, being in presence, being in stillness. And I received in a f other practice um, the, the strong message to go out, take something from NLP. Robert Dilt shared this from Milton Erickson. When he was as a young student at Milton Erickson house, um, he wanted to pay Milton back and Milton said, just take something and bring it to the world. This is the biggest favor you can do me. And Robert Dilt did that and as a result, um, together with Todd Ipstein, NLP University was created with the vision creating a world where people want to belong. And everyone who was there can tell you this is such an amazing place. And I received from Robert in one of the practices we do um, kind of this message. We have to share our vision and share this with my somatic NLP. And he was dancing that. And it was such a strong call, like such a strong outcome for me. And I continue on that. And what I mean is, the somatic side, it could be expressed in many different ways. And if I go away from the cognitive, maybe it's time to go away from a few techno terms and from a few of the geek language. And um, I, I'm laughing because I often had feedback on that. And it's very difficult for me because, you know, I loved it. NLP comes from California. I'm a generation where everything that comes from California is cool. And I'll, I visit this place and I fall in love. And I also love the spirit of the 70s when these people came together. And it's great as it is. And I love my thoughts and my fantasy on that. But also, I need to learn um, to let go of. Um, I can get caught in nostalgia and stuff. But the best is yet to come. The best is out there and um, having a readiness of something. And I love one-to-one -one coaching, I love one-to-one -one practice, and I believe NLP is made better, or at least speaking for London, practice with people who like to commit in one-to-one -one practice, and of course also at Skype. And then I also love to host meetups and bring community of great people together. So I'm happy and interested and curious to consider new options for meetups, somatic, Present mind, body, aware, wholeness, vulnerability, all kind of things that bring us to the here and now, to the present. So I will bring something up, but I strongly reconsider and to hold on, we make an NLP practice group in London. Like it is not in sync. So as of this, this might be the last time that the NLP week of weekend practice group will take place in this format believe me i love it as it is but it also have to bring in the right community and need to be the right time and the right place for doing something and i rather let go of labels and stick to what i'm standing for and i'm passionate giving people more choices and if it's stillness from the loud ones Come on in, join it. Let's see what's, what else is possible. And I would love to see a few of you on Saturday, the 4th of November at 1 o'clock in central London. So consider that. And I'm so happy to have founded a meetup. I can recommend everybody. And I'm so happy to have got a lot through NLB and the wholeness, something I love to explore and develop. It's all said, it was an amazing time and the future is not written yet. My best.